Hey, another creature. What are we going to build today? Very helpful. For today's build, we're going to turn some of your grandma's tacky signs into some dice boxes in a couple easy steps. These ones I got from a thrift store for a dollar or two. For the white box, I took it outside and primed it white. For the black one, I sanded it down, as it had some raised lettering that was still showing up after I tried to paint it. To deaden the sound on the rolls, we're going to use some of this cheap foam that you can get from Hobby Lobby or crafting stores. Next, we measure the inside of the box and cut the foam to fit. After that's cut out, we're going to dry fit it in before we glue it down. With the foam part, I glue it down with super glue because I'm impatient, but you could definitely just use Elmer's glue for this step. Next it's on to some felt just to give it a cool feel. You could probably stop at this point if you just wanted a super easy dice box, but let's give these some color. I'm gifting these dice boxes to my new players for D&D, so I got their favorite colors, purple and blue. And same as last time as we did with the foam, we're just going to measure the inside of the box and cut the felt to fit. Lastly, if you are going the felt route, you're going to want to make sure to use PVA glue as super glue will look terrible on the felt. No dice tray building video is complete without some obligatory dice rolling montage. Stay tuned. As you can see, the boxes roll a lot quieter and look a lot nicer than just the bare wood. And they always roll 20s, as you can tell. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share with a friend, and I hope this spurs your imagination to get out there and craft and play some games. Until next time, be excellent unto each other. Peace. Ha 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 